Let's go through an example problem to make some sense of the stuff that I just told you. C2 and C3 are connected in parallel, and they're both directly connected across this A to B line. This combination of C2 and C3 are connected in series with C1. So step one, let's combine C2 and C3. So C23 is equal to C2 plus C3. That's the equivalent capacitor, which can represent this entire part by itself. So now a new capacitor, C23. Now we've simplified the diagram and we can treat it like two capacitors that are simply in series. And the formula for that, find an equivalent capacitor to replace these two is like this, which is what we were looking at earlier. And then once you find this, you can replace these two capacitors. And then you can treat the entire diagram like one capacitor if you only care about total charge and voltage. So this is the core skill with capacitors, taking the mess, cleaning it up using rules like parallel adding and series using reciprocals. And then you go ahead and solve Q equals CV from the cleaned up version.